Hello and welcome back to our introduction to Edexcel A-Level Business Online course. And in the final video, we're just going to take a look at quantitative skills and numerical concepts. Now, throughout Edexcel A-Level Business, you will develop confidence in a range of quantitative skills and numerical concepts. And indeed, at least 10% of the marks will come through the assessment of quantitative skills. Now there are nine key quantitative skills. You will find these in the specification, but you'll also find them on screen. So, quantitative skill one, calculate, use and understand ratios, averages and fractions. Quantitative skill two is calculate, use and understand percentages and percentage changes. Quantitative skill three is construct and interpret a range of standard graphical forms whereas quantitative skill four is about interpreting index numbers. Quantitative skill five is the ability to calculate cost, revenue, profit, and break even, whereas quantitative skill six is about calculating investment appraisal outcomes and interpreting their results. Quantitative skill seven is interpreting values of price and income elasticity of demand. Quantitative skill eight is use and interpret quantitative and non-quantitative information in order to make decisions. And the final quantitative skill, quantitative skill nine, is interpret, apply and analyze information in written, graphical and numerical forms. Let's delve a little bit deeper into quantitative skills and numerical concepts. So some questions will directly assess Quantitative skills and numerical concepts, for example, using the data in extract B, calculate to two decimal places the income elasticity of demand for pizzas. For my question, this question not only assesses EO1, EO2, the assessment objectives, but also quantitative skill seven and quantitative skill nine. Now, you also may get a question that asks you to perform a calculation and then use the results of this calculation within your answer. But you can also use quantitative skills and numerical concepts to support your arguments, perhaps by maybe performing a calculation to strengthen the point you are making or using data from say a table to strengthen your argument. This can lead to better application, analysis and evaluation. So a really important skill is the ability to pull data from a table, chart or graph and then use this data to perform a calculation and then use the result of the calculation within your answer. For example, we can see on screen here, extract B, which relates to some production data for frozen foods manufacturers A and B. We can see each manufacturer's current output in units and their maximum output in units. So an example question could be using the data in extract B, explain one consequence of the level of capacity utilization for the frozen food manufacturer B compared to A. You are advised to show your working four marks. So here you would need to work out the capacity utilization of both manufacturers and then explain one consequence of the level of capacity utilization for the frozen food manufacturer B compared to A. Alternatively, you may be required to utilize data from a chart, table or graph and use this to support your response. So on screen, we can see extract A, which is UK economic data for 2017 and forecasts for 2025. So we've got unemployment, we've got the exchange rate, dollars to pounds, we've got inflation and we've got economic growth, the change in GDP. So we've got the 2017 data and the forecasts for 2025. And a possible question could be using the data in extract A, assess the likely impact of the forecast changes in the UK economy on a business such as little 10 marks. So given the importance and you know how crucial quantitative skills and numerical concepts are, it is really important to spend time practicing the key quantitative skills as well as the numerical concepts, as not only could you receive a direct question on them, but you can often strengthen your application, your analysis and evaluation through using data. Now, examiner's reports frequently mention that students often struggle to calculate percentage increases and decreases. Now, not only 
are percentage change calculation questions common, very common, but you may also be required to calculate percentage changes as part of calculating price and or income elasticity of demand. So make sure you are comfortable and confident in percentage changes. Also remember that you will not be given any formulas in the exam, so make sure you are familiar with them all. Now, if you go onto our YouTube channel, the Tutor to You YouTube channel, we have a variety of revision blasts and topic recaps on key quantitative skills and key numerical concepts. Our website, Tutor to You forward slash business, also contains a comprehensive set of study notes and topic videos on quantitative skills and numerical concepts. So again, you can watch these at your leisure and really familiarize yourself with the key quantitative skills and numerical concepts. The Tutor to You team are also running a series of 10 free live streams on core A-level topics, and there are 10 scheduled this term. You can see the dates and the times on the screen. Some of those are key quantitative skills and numerical concepts based. Others are topic based. It will be great to see you take part of them. If you can't make them live, there will be a recording and that will be on our YouTube channel. We also have a range of resources that provide a really comprehensive collection of all the calculations that you may face in Edexcel A-Level Business. You can find our calculation practice book and our calculation practice cards on our website, tutortoyou.net forward slash business. Let's finish off with a couple of simple calculation questions that test a couple of the quantitative skills. So the first one is a percentage increase question. So last year, Balti Towers and Indian Takeaway delivered 1,800 meals. This year, the owner estimates that they will deliver 1,908 meals. Calculate the estimated percentage increase in deliveries. You have 30 seconds to complete that question. Okay, hopefully you've managed to have a go at that. If not, you can pause the video and have a little bit more time. Let's look at the answer. So the way to work it out is simply the difference divided by the original times 100, which in this case gives us an estimated percentage increase in deliveries of 6%. Okay, final one. Father Treads is a car tyre manufacturer located in County Durham. Their tyres retail for £60 each. The manufacturing cost per tyre is two-fifths of the selling price. Can you calculate the cost of manufacturing one tyre? Once again, you have 30 seconds. Okay, hopefully you've managed to have a go at that. You can again pause the video and unpause if you need more time. So the cost of manufacturing one tyre is £24. So two ways to do it, £60 divided by five times two to work out two-fifths, which is £24. Also, we could have recognised that two-fifths is actually 40%. So £60 times 0 0.4 gives us £24. And that concludes this video and the final video in our Introduction to Edexcel A-Level Business online course where we've looked at quantitative skills and numerical concepts. <laughs>